Thanks for checking out Weekly Jesse Lee. If you love this vlog and if you want more and if you want to see more about my day in the life and what it really takes to have a successful business or multiple successful businesses, please make sure you subscribe, share with a friend, comment below, and just let me know so I can give you what you want. I had nothing to do with it. In fact, it's happened to me several times. That is so typical. Like, it's real life. So it's interesting to me because. Rookie! You are so interesting. You're so interesting. You're an interesting dog. Um, it's very interesting because there's such toxic masculinity in the business world in general. And it is just so loud on this app. Like, women are spoken over, like, or ignored. Like, they'll say the best thing, and then they're ignored. Like, very typical. What do you call that shit out? Oh, yeah. So then, apparently, so, I, I haven't been on this app all day, because I'm kind of getting over it, honestly. It's just a time suck. But then I'm, like, getting pinged into this room. That's, I guess this guy who's trying to defend himself right now. Like, basically, some woman was talking, and he sort of shamed her story. Her story, like, her brother, I don't even know it. Something about her brother died, and he, like, made fun of her. And what? So there's a room that's, like, all about mansplaining, blah, 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 on Clubhouse. I'm like, finally, somebody's calling out this, like, so that's ridiculous what, energy. So that's what room you're in? Yeah, this is the guy trying to explain why he's a piece of crap. The guy's name was, I was like, uh-oh. He booked me on his podcast for next week. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna have to, yeah, you're gonna. Oh my God, man. You're gonna, you're gonna tear him up. Yeah, that's the plan. He's getting way too much. We need water. So you're gonna go on his podcast, and you're gonna be like, "All right, first off, I'm not a woman boss. I'm a boss. I'm a, and you a hoe." Let's see what she says because I was just like. <laughs> disrespected by you as well as oh. the in the room and this is not about let's accommodate let's do this and and even when you apologize you go look at her followers guys i wouldn't kick her to the stage look at her followers i'm going to tell you right now i am not defined by my followers okay? so please don't ever say that to anyone again you know i think i think what you're not understanding all right and, and this is not good or bad just so you know this is neutral is that you don't realize how you treat women it's not just it's not about me, and I'm not going to make this about me because there's women on this stage, and I'm going to let you guys have the mic. But I've had the same experience that I've had, maybe not as dramatic, maybe not as so in the face, but you do it consistently. And I think you have an opportunity today to really get feedback on how you are treating women, on how you are disrespecting us, on how you are suppressing us and our voices. And it is so important for you. I mean, do you have daughters, JT? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Are there are there are there children in your life that are girls, nieces, any type of children yes, in your life yes. that you care about and you love? Absolutely. You, you have an an opportunity and an obligation Sheesh. to fix this. She's saying the ISS. I, I mean, seriously, because you are a, a, a man who comes in and yes, you've got all this experience and and yes, you can you can help a lot of people. But at the end of the day. If in your heart, if your heart is not good, we can all see that. And the feeling, okay, now I'm talking about the feelings that you make us feel, is that we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, and so you suppress our voices, and you talk over us, and you disrespect us. And there are other women, and you, and you know, and I want you to hear this from me. My daughter, my 11-year-old daughter, witnessed what you did to me. She witnessed it, and I bust my every day to give her a better life and a better world. And what you did, what you did to me in front of her was so uh, hurtful and so disempowering. And you need to check your privilege, oh. okay? Because I've also seen the way you talk to women of color. Oh. She on his head. And I'm gonna pass the mic right now to any other woman, and you need to speak Jesse to Lee right now today because he's oh, Amber, Amber Rose. Jesse Lee, tag in. And what we have all seen I'm not in the uh, for women, and the day that thing. you decide but you, but you that agree. you're going to shift whatever pattern it is, because I believe that it is a pattern inside of you. It's 
the fire. Link tree in the fire. Link tree in the fire. Hey, Jamie Lynn. It's Jesse Lee. Bryson G. Jesse Lee. Bryson G. Link tree. Ah, could you keep telling us? Ah, 15 day try. Ah, or 7 day. Ah. There y'all go. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, I'm gonna do my coaching calls in the afternoon forever. This is such great energy. Everybody's awake. What time is it there? What time? Yeah, we're in summer. They got the energy. They're in New Zealand. <laughs> They're Kiwis. They're my Kiwis. Coaching call with me. I'll be real with you. It's something. I'm gonna guess. Can I guess? Yeah, go for it. You are probably you are probably one of those people that you're just naturally very good at everything you try to do. Like you're you've never been the best, but you're always yeah. anything you try to do, you're good at. Yeah. And so then you get bored ever since you were a little girl. <laughs> Well, you're just too pretty bad. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I'm just, I've been doing this a long time, okay? This is 10 years. <laughs> like, like, I'm just telling you. So I'm not telling you to live in your past. Like, that's not at all what I'm yeah. saying. But rewrite that. And, yeah. and hey, but the reason I can see that in you that easily, like, this is our first face-to-face -face conversation. The reason I, I see it like that is because there's so much of that in me. Like this is the yeah. first thing I, in any circumstance, would be picked first. Like if there was a lineup and we were playing MLM kickball, anybody in their right mind is picking Jesse Lee as team captain. Oh yeah, I'm picking Jesse Lee. But everybody in the world is. Point me, I am the best in the world at this profession. Yeah. I will go toe to toe with anyone. I was good. I mean, I was really good at a lot of things. I was a good gymnast. I quit. I was really good at clarinet. I quit. Yeah. I was really good at singing. I quit. I was yeah. really good at like literally everything I ever tried to do. And then I got bored with it. So you need, so this, I was like, Jesse Lee, you are gonna compete with yourself. Because yeah, you need to be the best. Yeah. So you cannot get motivated by other people. You need to compete with you. And you need to be the person that's like, all right. Like, and I'm just, I'm just giving you like coaching that really worked for me. I was like, okay, then we're competing with Jesse Lee. I need to go here. And then I need to go here. And then I, I, yeah. I've got to yeah. keep going until, until I was the best. And the great thing about being the best is the only way you stay the best is by beating everybody else Probably. always over and over yeah. again. Yeah. Right? And then to be the best, you gotta beat the best, and I'm undefeated. So, ah, no! What she does is the 333 thing, and that has doubled her, her business. Oh my god! Okay. Hi! Okay. She just got home from a walk. My butt itches from this tattoo. Come here! You wanna say hi, Frida? Hmm. Hi, baby! Look at Frida! Hi, look, look, look! She said hi, Frida. Oh, like she can't hear me. Yes. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Good girl. Oh, yeah, no, you... I'll put this on you? No? You won't let me? Come on. You love the Mexicans. You're obsessed with David. You're obsessed with him. They look long as hell. Don't cover them up. <laughs> this camera will pick it up. Okay, They're turn to the stairs. side so I can see them. They're spares. I hate them. Spares? Yeah, like, like they're tires? Not thick. I like things thick. Oh, we know. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> For me, I've probably made, I don't know, um, somewhere around five, six hundred thousand dollars on TikTok so far in the last couple of months. And um, I don't think it's slowing down. So I will tell you, it's kind of actually a blend of the two, Jeff. It's sort of like a hybrid thing. And what I really mean by that is pay attention to things that are trending.
but make them around your business. So I think what made me explode on TikTok and get so many results and continue to get so many results is that yes, I use sounds that are trending, but I do not do all of the little dances when they pop out, I do, but I might use the music. Um, I do not follow what anyone else is doing, and I think that that just made me look like I was a supernova on there. Um, I think I was, the, well I know, I was the first network marketer or coach or whatever to go on there and just say, yep, I'm a network marketer, come at me, what questions you have, like I will, I will take one for the team. And I think sometimes being that trailblazer it encouraged a lot of people to follow suit really quickly thereafter, which just made the platform even stronger. Now I get tagged and stuff like, you know, oh, come back at, like, clap back at this girl, clap back at this girl, or, you know, whatever, clap back at this guy. He said this. He, I'm like, I, I don't even need to do the clap backs, you know? Um, but it's, it is really a hybrid between the two. So whatever your messaging is or your product is that you want to use, I think using trending sounds is really valuable. Um, but, and, and think of how you, you how you can make it work around your network marketing business. So I'll give you just another example off the top of my head. There was one for a uh, house tour was trending. Well, um, what had happened was I'm a top network marketer. I live in a house that a top network marketer would live in, right? A top entrepreneur would live in. So I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. And I did a house tour. I could only make it through like, I don't even know, like maybe four bedrooms before I was out of time. But I got so many followers from that and so many people because I used proper texts that were like, what do you do? I want information. What do you mean you're an entrepreneur? What are those trophies? Um, I did, uh, I like to use sounds like the, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 or like whatever is trending, but I make it with network marketing. But she had no idea she was gonna be rich. Jesse Lee, why you let them rob you? I didn't know until Clubhouse. That's why I keep popping in on here. You hit a, they hit a lick on you. Anchor hit a little Jesse Lee. Literally, <laughs> they robbed me. Anchor. It's like a rob bank. Tell everybody get off Anchor. Get off Anchor. DM me. I'll hook you up with something else. How much did they take from you? Forty bands. Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. Literally. They better tell you something. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that. I'm putting in the link. Like he's gonna start some kind of war. What's his name? I don't know his name. You don't know his name? For $45, I don't know his name. For $45, name. you better tell me something. I don't know nothing for $45. <laughs> you don't. But the best person on our team, you can expect to do at best half of what you do. And so if you want something to duplicate, I want you to ask yourself uh, how much you're willing to do. So. For me, that means that like I've been going live on the three platforms now for I don't even know how many months, and now I've got leaders that are that are doing it right. They were they were going live on one platform, then I got leaders buying burner phones, <laughs> literally like off of you know like cheap burner phones that don't even have cell phone numbers uh, to be able to duplicate that. Some of my best sellers. So I just think anything in general, you know, speed of the team is the speed of the leader, and if you continue to set the pace for your organization, people will follow suit. Gates, police, multiple men. She thinks she's the president. <laughs> I do, it's getting dangerous. You and Chelsea Clinton? Yeah, especially the multiple men part, I agree. Ah! Camera prince. Jesse Lee, Don't you, you better it. be feeding your children. Yes, I got them. Don't you do it. The hell was that? You speaking spells? <laughs> it's the pig. The nine dollar pig. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Just the goofy day in the house. Especially when Bryson goes back to touring and I move, your vlog is not going to be the same. Well, neither of you are ever leaving me at all. <laughs> Why she, drink, why she drinks a mug that says cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How feel about that? She old and rich, huh? I can tell. You can see her china cabinet through her oh. front door. What in the blazes? Oh my God. Just at least got, just at least friends different. Talking about we going to my friend's house. None of my friends got their china cabinet through the front door. That's for sure. Shit, let me tell you, my friends don't even live in houses. Look at this dough. Jesus. Like Bruce Wayne Manor. Oh my god, you're ridiculous. Look, she got a chandelier hanging in front of the door. Oh, 
Let me stop talking before this damn rug shoot from up underneath me and I end up in a dungeon. <laughs> look, it even looked like the golden crest of the ninth century. Oh my god. Sheesh. Is that y'all rocking? Is that y'all rocking? Sheesh. And right here it looked like I'm going to Tron. Looking like I'm I'm in the game. Oh, I have to go in. The, the grid. grid. And uh -huh. one day, something happened. I got, I got in. <laughs> That's right, man. I got in. Ah! Oh my God, B is watching Jesse Lee's TV. I ain't seen this TV on ever. <laughs> now this look like a home, not a damn warehouse. Business casual. Party in the back. So, so, so everybody the receipts. These cheeks? Come on, I got cheeks for weeks. How do people not know that? How do your friends not know that, of all people? Because you don't post it. You're right. trying to be friendly. Right. I'm trying to be PG-13. But I he's supposed to be my friend. But you a grown woman. You right. can post what you want to post. And you got me bleeping out stuff on the blog. You want to show your Because I don't cuss online. Room? Well, you want to show your booty? That's how we can't get it. You got a booty because you don't show it. That's true. So. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. I know. Meg the Stallion, she wants you yeah. on the vlog. That'd be kind of gangster. Message to say, Joanne, I saw you on that call. I'm really excited. Hey, Leanne. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for getting on that call. What was your favorite takeaway? Hey, I know it was getting late. I know it's, you know, it's past dinner time, supper time. And uh, I know this is usually when you put your baby to sleep. I want to say thank you. I saw you, Christine. Isabel, thank you. I know you had a lot of things you could have been doing. I saw you on that call. Just building the relationship and encouraging. That's just like any relationship. Because if you ignore the relationship long enough, it goes away. Ha! This is not just in business. Okay, friendolas. Uh, hello. You ignore your partner enough. Guess what? <laughs> Bye! Right? I mean, that's just sort of the way it is. Like, if you are ignoring me, a goodbye. So the people who are scared and nervous and second-guessing their business, it's no different than a new relationship. If you're just dating somebody and they ghost you, you know, every couple of, every, every couple of times you text them, don't you think you're going to stop texting them? <sighs> yeah, yeah, you are. You are. And so I think sometimes we complicate things. Like, I don't know about you, but I, I know a lot of people on our team, uh, they overcomplicate things. They think this business is, is difficult. No, this is a business of relationships. It's a business of who knows people the most. It's a business of who cares about people the most. It's about who can remember the most about people. Nina says, am I right in thinking you personally recruited over 300 people the last two months? Yeah, almost uh, a little over 400, I think. Massive, massive, yeah. But let me tell you something. That's relationships too, okay? Because people will not do business with people they know they don't know, like, and trust. So if somebody's going to join me as their sponsor, it's because I've built a relationship with them. Or um, I think your life sets you up for a lot of success when you don't, and you don't realize it until you reflect on it, right? So uh, I always was living way below my means. I was not doing what most people in business do, which is maybe they they hit a grand slam and then they spend all of it. Like they buy, uh, like I was driving a Range Rover, you know, making 200 grand a month, consistently 200 grand a month, right? Uh, I wasn't driving what I drive now as an example. I wasn't buy. I wasn't spending the 200 and, you know, doing stupid stuff. So when I was terminated, it was a big wake up call because I was like, whoa, okay. So now I have to start from zero again and build again. I had no other streams of income and as soon as it happened, I went, oh, thank God this happened to me because I went immediately into that will never happen again. I went right into no matter what, a company will not own me like that ever again. And the only way that that's possible is if your life is not owned by a company. And if every stream of income is owned by literally one man or woman in a tower, not literally, but like 
I did say literally, but you know, one person who can pull the plug or whatever at any point in time, then your whole lifestyle is dictated on one person, two people, however many owners are in your company or your, you know, your, your brokerage that you're working for, whatever it is. And so as soon as I was terminated, it was, all right, as soon as I start getting even more money, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm using this money to make money. And so I think the first thing I did was I got some real estate uh, to have some, some rental properties. Um, after that, I, I don't even know what, what was the next thing I did. I have no freaking idea. I started investing in everything. It was like, oh, you got an opportunity? I got money. Come on, let's go. Dude, I don't care if you think I'm anything. I literally don't care what you think about me because I put my head on a pillow at night, every night, and I am so proud of the woman that I am. I am so proud of how I have built up. I am, I am so, I am dominant in business. Forget gender, forget whatever. I am a force. So it's so so you can cut like people can cut their deals. They can do whatever. I don't know how you sleep like that. I've never had to do it, and I'm number one in the world. So number two is coachable. Dominated. I don't want to be dominated. No, what are you talking about? I am not. No, excuse me. I am not dominant in relationships, JT. You are dominant. No, I am not. Excuse me. Do you have a shark tattoo? I have a shark tattoo. Where's your shark tattoo? Oh, oh, right. That's what I thought. So you go ahead and take your seat. Second place. Oh, that was a mic drop. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. No, no. Yeah, it was. Appreciate you. Ciao. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. He said you ain't no shark. You pulled out the shark tattoo. You said, who ain't no shark? Who you talking to like that? You better watch your mouth. You talking crazy. You don't know, you don't know who you talking to. You must not know who I am. Must be out your rabid mind. Where your tattoo at, Mr. Shark? Bruce? He think he Bruce from Finding Nemo. Well, tell everybody to go find him. I bet you that, I bet you they won't. He better go chill with the orcas. You better go back to Sea World. Hop back in that tank. <laughs> I heard you got a show in two hours and you need some rest. Now, here's the deal. So we are asking um, very important <laughs> questions. What? Yes. Oh, okay. Us Latina. There you go, Amber. Us Latinas can make you some good food and call you Papi. Okay. Whoa. Are you gonna make adepas? What's up, Instagram? Hey, Instagram. The question. legends are here. The question of the day is. No, it's your question. Okay, the question. You started it. The question of the day is What is your preference of dating? My top two are Latinas and Persian, Middle Eastern. What are yours, Jesse Lee? Top two Asgardians. <laughs> Jesse no. Lee? Hmm? If you look like Thor, shoot your shot. No. Come on, say it. I don't know. I just need men with swagger. Chocolate is she her need a, yeah, she need, I like black men. She need men with drip. If you ain't got no drip. I like dark skin. Like, they don't have to be black. I want to work for like... Jesse. Oh, that's tough because okay. her name not Jesse. Yeah, Jesse Lee. Jesse Lee, come on now. We gotta get the name right. You first. must be talking about somebody down the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Chocolate, chocolate. She was married to a white man and got divorced. And going back to women, she loved her black men. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's switching it up for real. She mm -hmm. went from a she's white diverse. Man. She's white diverse. Man. Uh, black man, women. Yeah. Okay. Latin. Okay. She's Mexican. There you go. So she's local, basically. Oh, she... The Donde Eres. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Come on, me. <laughs> <laughs> All you said is De Donde Eres, and you think you're. Oh my God. Hey, I, I know a little Spanish. Italians. I do love Italian. Caribbean, okay. I'm pretty equal opportunity, but I don't like white men. Weren't you weren't you fluent in Spanish for a while? I have no type but do love some chocolate. See? You got a lot of people that love some chocolate. Yeah, hello, because they're aligned with me. Any single in any kind. That's all that matters. Okay, Courtney, I ain't mad at you, girl. Hmm. I'm trying to make sure you trying to see. Hmm. Brazilian? Mmm. Mmm. Brazilian, some Brazilian dudes look like European. Cause you know. Because that's where it came from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me as well with milk chocolate. Yeah. Ooh, milk chocolate. Mm. Nope. Croatian and French. Ooh, Croatians are beautiful people. All right, y'all ask. Oh, per Peru. I love Peru. The any the in heat on there. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Switzerland in the house. 
Haven't been there yet. What mm -hmm. up, Christina? I want to go to I Switzerland. I've been that sounds fire. It's so beautiful. Jesse, can you take me to Switzerland, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, son. And apparently I called him. I don't even remember this conversation. And he said, what kind of work do you need, Jesse Lee? And I said, I don't know. Um, go look at my Facebook, apparently, is what I said. Which sounds like something I would say, so he's probably not lying. And then we didn't talk for a few months, and then I messaged him again, and I said, hey. Yay, Jennifer! And that's that. The rest is history. It's probably so much fun being around her. Well, we did have to move them. You better big, check your face. We gotta move them big ass trees into yo. <laughs> All right, it's fun with being around just Lee when she's not working. It is so much fun being around me, and I work only twenty three hours a day. She's a fun person. I'm yes. really funny, but and Prince that's... and I are also hilarious. Yes, so. so we get around. We get away along. Today was very funny. Because I wish you had heard the whole thing. You'd be in here dancing around doing your racing thing. <laughs> Our pri yes, me and Prince are related. We're brothers. It's my brother. Brother from another mother. What's your favorite crazy silly happy dance? I will show you, but I have no room to dance, so. We're going to really back against this wall. Yeah. There's a new one. It's a new dance. Mm -hmm. Y'all see it on her TikTok in a couple days. Oh, thanks, Lauren. I'm her type. A person. Favorite song. Norm Red. Rare. Go check it out. <laughs> Does that have a bunch of dirty words in it? No, no. It's actually a great song. Cool. I dated a man named Prince when I was a teen. Wow, was it Prince? Well, it wasn't me. Are you sure? <laughs> Wait, are you from Atlanta? What's your name? <laughs> How you been? Alright guys, ask more questions. Favorite for, song? For all the new people in live, mm -hmm. we're asking questions. Mm. What's our favorite type of music? We listen to literally everything. Bryson's face. Isn't he handsome? I get to stare at beautiful black men all day long. B, what do they call you overseas because of your smile? Tell oh, me. overseas in Colombia and all these different countries, they call me Dientes. That's my oh nickname. Oh my god. Dientes. Now tell them what it means for people who don't know. For people who don't know what Dientes means, it means teeth in Spanish because I have nice teeth. There you go. Now, here's the deal. <laughs> Y'all are more than welcome to call him. All right, guys, a couple. Hell no. I do her photo and video. I know we look close, we just so pinned to a wall and everything, so don't worry. Wait, they're always talking about how the most attractive women on the internet are my my followers. And they're not Bryce always and G. wrong. Bryson G. I mean, that's wow. your type. That's your type, Bryson G. I think she's everyone's type. She's gorgeous. Bryson G specifically. Hold on, she Wait, move, 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 just leave. Okay. Bryson G is in detective mode. Detective B oh is on the case. Oh my god, this is <laughs> Jeez, someday when I grow up, I'm going to look like her. Oh my gosh. Oh, she The obsession is real. Oh, she a makeup artist. Oh, Bryson, she is checking and listening, oh checking it twice. God. <laughs> just me getting ready for her night out. It's none of y'all business, but just know she got business to take care of. Go ahead, get a look. Sheesh. I mean, look. I'm just going to tell you, if you try to book a call with me, my assistant will not allow you to book a call past, I think, I think it's 7 o'clock. I think this is the latest call, right? You can ask Morgan. Morgan's the one who probably tried to book it. She probably was like, we like 8 o'clock. My assistant's like, hell to the no. Jess Seeley will be on there dead dog tired. She will be fumbling over her thoughts. She will be a disaster. We are not getting her on at 8 o'clock. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to happen, okay? No, it's exactly what happened. Okay, see, that's funny. <laughs> no, because my best energy, this is actually my worst energy, so I, I like, imagine that. <laughs> this is my worst energy of the day. This is the latest I do calls, because my best energy is, like, my sweet spot is, like, 1 to 3 in the afternoon and early morning. And this is the Jesse Lee exit. This is how she going out. <laughs> that's real leather. The other, <laughs> the other day, when you guys were live, I was just like, if he doesn't shut up about the chocolate chip cookies, I'm going to go down to the store and bring See? him some chocolate chip cookies. See? Because <laughs> I was like, See? I need me some chocolate chip. I'm like, no, you don't need chocolate chip cookies, Tanya. Oh, you wanted some. See? It well, sounded lit at the time. I wanted to share. I wanted to share with at you. At the time. And yeah. now I'm bringing my own snacks because I know I won't <laughs> fail me. <laughs> Yeah, I saw those Tate cookies. I've never tried those before. Yeah, who the? They, they who look the like, hell is Tate? Yeah, they're flat. And they're really who crunchy. Who likes a flat cookie? They're and, crunchy. And I crunchy. Was, I was not 
I was not with it. Is this summit yes. like a big thing? Did you seem all jittery? Should be all set, period. It's because it's in 12 minutes and I look like a dump truck hit me. I thought you were all about, this is how I am. Shoot. Showing not, up. Not when I gotta do it in HD. Mm, no, mm -mm. Well, you can choose to not do it in mm -mm. HD. Mm -mm. What, and look like a dump truck? No. <laughs> Good lord. Just VD is a living paradox. Come on. Going through the motions of the quantum field at approximately 12 degrees to the fourth power. So and so, you know, let, you know, let that power you. And it's okay if you do something very, very similar. Correct. And the other really important, well, there's a lot of important things, as you can probably tell. But one of the really important things is that you actually repurpose the content. So when you, when you are putting out a video, you'll see at the bottom where it says automatically share. I have like a really good ninja tip I'm about to give you, so I hope y'all are listening. All right, so not only are you gonna automatically share like this, okay, this, I have all of my videos, you can always turn it off, but all of my videos get linked immediately to my Instagram story, which of course can then immediately link to my Instagram story, or to my Facebook story, those all are linked together. But after that, check this out. I'm gonna go to any one of my videos. If you want to boost a video of yours, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your own three dots down here. You don't even have to share it. All you do is when you click the three dots, it opens up these share options. You don't actually have to send it anywhere. TikTok doesn't know you didn't actually copy and paste it anywhere, but you can click copy link and now, TikTok thinks, TikTok thinks it went somewhere. TikTok thinks, oh, this is shareable content. So if you want to organically boost your stuff, you do it. Just go through, ba 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 the little three dots, copy link, copy link. I'm not sending it anywhere. Nope, sure not. Mm -mm, not sending it anywhere. La la la. That, that's a great step. So what separates talented individuals from successful ones and sustained success is a lot of hard work. If you want sustained success, yes. It's going to be hard work. Anybody who tries to tell you that they sat in a corner of a yard and sang Kumbaya for 10 hours a day and all of a sudden they made a million dollars a year, like, I don't know that I trust that, okay? I Jesse Lee just got off of seven calls and I had to film them all. Mm -hmm. I had to talk on them all. I was I like, eaten yet. That was like, that was like four hours, you know, something light. Stressful, right? I think it's stressful. Now eat that fire meal prep that, what's her name? Megan. Megan whipped up. Gang. <laughs> Who? Jessie Lee got her own puzzle. I think she looks leaner in the side. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? She's eating the same every day. Who thinks she is? Eric. Rory. Yep. Um, as long as I have one, like with the hats in my closet, I just need one of those. I don't need two of them though. Will you add this in her closet? Do you want, the, is this for your blow dryer and such? It's a Dyson. Or a Dyson. It's not for my blow dryer, it's for a vacuum, but I don't need it. Unless. No, we'll put it in the trash. Cool. Good deal. I'm gonna put this upstairs. This stupid app. Her, her team came in and so got this in tip top one. shape. I'm not even done, it's only day two. That corner looked naked. Everything does. There's so much stuff we need to get rid of. And if I. You don't know the house story, do you? You weren't here, right? So they called Jen, the owners called Jen yesterday, and said, they still won't pay for it, and now they're still going to homeowners, BS, because they have a good lawyer, first and foremost. Second of all, um... They have a good lawyer? Or you do? So second of all, they go, oh yeah. She can break the lease. Um, 
two plus sign. She can, she can break the lease. You have all your friends in here. Everybody needs to know. We all know that. But every month. You know, right now, TikTok is the hottest. Every month Oops. that it doesn't okay. rent, <laughs> just pay it. It's the hottest of the hottest. No one else is going to pay what they're having to $11,500 a month to live here. It's more than double what it should be. No. So, interestingly enough, um... They go, well, she can buy it if she wants to. And Jen was like, no, she doesn't want to buy it. And then Jen told me, I was like, no, let's let's buy it. Then I don't have to look for another house. Then I can go buy, build my house. I have two years to go build my house. Then I don't have to give them $130,000 for nothing. Wait, so what is happening? I'm going to buy it. You're going to buy this house? And then build my house. How long is your house going to take to build? Probably like two years doing that um you know i think that obviously it's more like a i don't know you, you can only train so much in 30 minutes i could have kept going and going and going and going and going but i hope more than anything you take the initiative you know i know it's weird and it's new and it's nerve-wracking and you feel like you're late to it or you feel like you're not cool enough for it fraser has made seven thousand excuses to me <clears throat> Um, as to why he hasn't really done it. Uh, I'm sorry, there was just something in my throat. Uh, but, <laughs> but uh, no, you know, I've had a lot of fun with it as a platform, and it's funny because I literally just, like, the only reason I'm about to go, because I don't have a call for another 15 minutes, but I'm about to go uh, in a minute, is because I thought of a TikTok idea. So just to, like, remind you guys, it's the little creative stuff. Like, I just did, I don't know, apparently four... Calls, was it four calls? Yes. Four calls in a row, back to back to back, and like, I mean, I, I crushed them all, okay? Like trainings, right? And I was thinking to myself, because you know, I told you to do your 15 minutes of research every day. I was like, I got it. I know what TikTok I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do the TikTok where it's like, well, it's supposed to be, well, like other people do it sexually, right? But it's the one where it's like, that man don't miss. <gasps> he don't miss. He don't miss. And I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do about network marketing. So I'm really excited to have fun with that one. So just a little reminder, it's it's not necessarily what you're watching, but how can you make it work for you and your business? And then just go have fun with it. Oh, that, that's, that's it. It takes the ability. Please unblock me. Do it now before you forget. I know, I already ha halfway forgot. <laughs> <laughs> also, just remind me again in a second. I gotta delete these. Wait, so why'd you block him? He's because he was being a D hole in the middle of my live, and I'm like, alright, that's enough out of you. I thought you thrive off of the trolls. Yeah, I was getting annoyed. It was really getting obnoxious. It was very, it was a toxic. So he sent her a whole email apologize. Good for yeah. him. That's what, about, that's, what a, that's what she should do. I like that. I respect that. Talking about, please unblock me. I respect that. If you can be man enough to send me an email and say I was wrong, it's fine. Wow, he care. He really care. You were a, you were a detrimental thing in his life. He was like, he can't live without Jesse Lee knowing. Oh, I was doing it with the wrong arm. I did not no. Well, it must be a nice black camera. Jesse Lee. <laughs> At least, but like so you just can't you and when I you get it. sleepy you just what? can't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do all this. Like, hey, show, show the sticky notes. Let's. Just leave out an extra hour to her sleep room. It's not an hour, but it's like fifteen to twenty minutes. So when y'all say, "Oh, I gotta get ready for bed," this is what y'all mean. Yeah, you gotta clean then. If I get sleepy, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> But look how much I'm Eat getting. Some rid of. cereal. Eat some cereal. No. Mm -mm. This is the routine. Okay, we're gonna go. Face oil, cleanser, face wash, enzyme scrub, micro peel, exfoliator, skin. Refine. Skin refine. Goodness. We got toner, we got a mask, lip treatment, cream. <laughs> Oh, a pot that. treatment, serum, I'm moisturizer, eye case, and facial spray. I want all these. 
That sounds like a recipe. <laughs> This is the recipe. This is the Jesse Lee recipe. Yeah, well. God. Sephora, love you. Do you go to one place to get all this? No. Of course not. MLM, 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 MLM. So, just to be clear, all the stuff that y'all send Jesse MLM, Lee, she MLM, is using MLM, them. MLM, 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 MLM. MLM, MLM, MLM. This is MLM. Six hours later. MLM, 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 MLM. Y'all can't say Jesse Lee don't support what y'all send her. And she wearing the nails that she sent. Uh, yep. MLM, <laughs> MLM, MLM. Yeah. Jesse Lee, you can't neglect the Porsche. I'm not taking it. How your brother really said sideways. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Golly, right then. Maybe humidity or something here. But like my lashes keep falling out. This is literally eight days. Oh wow. I did wear strips yesterday because it was so bad and I had to do a event, but. on the counter. I said, I know. I know. And Tanya's like, I'm scared to touch it. I said, no, it's clean. It's fine. She goes, well, Prince has been playing with it all day. I didn't want to tell him what it was. Uh, it's clean. It's clean. But this is a yoni egg. Ew. And you've been playing with it all day. And it goes. I touched it too. That's disgusting. <laughs> Hey, you know what I, wait, you know what I so thought? So that go in your ass? No! Where'd it go? It's black obsidian. Oh my god! It's yeah, a, I know it's, it's a obsidian. crystal. Yeah, it's I know crystal. that. But where are you putting it? It's yoni, so it goes. Vagina. Vagina. You know what I told Prince? I said. <laughs> I thought wait. that was a magnet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so why y'all putting it in the <laughs> You charging it up? <laughs> you charging it up? I thought it was a crystal. I said, Prince, why she got it this is. fake crystal? It is a crystal. It's not fake. It's black obsidian. It's black obsidian. So why, why is, why it going there? Feel it. To keep more powerful. Make it more powerful. She trying to be a super it's saying. It's literally a soft she tissue. tissue. You felt it before. It's dangerous. She, 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 Here, she, 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 you felt it before. She put <laughs> crystals in the <laughs> Trying to charge it up. <laughs> what? Uh. Yep. That's that. This is absurd. <laughs> Jesse Lee, I knew. Jesse Lee, look. Like, oh my gosh. Beautiful girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this is so much less comfortable. Oh, oh my goodness. You, oh, you. <laughs> the bougie Sorry is coming out. In such a low class vehicle yeah. like yeah, this. Yeah, I know. Here. I was gonna say something. <laughs> You're offended. She's offended by the class. Yeah, I know. It's like Ferrari. It's so, you know, below her, really. <laughs> Boot that thing no, up. You gotta turn it. You know how, uh, she even forgot how to start a Ferrari now. It's been so long. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. Driver's in here. <laughs> Ooh. 
Hey, the R is for reverse. <laughs> the blue? Pretty, yeah. I like it. It's pretty red. Oh, cool. I, I know you're right. Sheesh, with a pedal shot. This car. I mean, my heavens. Oh, what the hell? How are we even going to have fun? I don't know. We better bust out of this traffic. I have no idea. Bryson G having a party because he see the Ferrari. <laughs> Got up in the road. Oh my God. Home. <laughs> if you couldn't hear us. Jesse Lee getting toxic. Do your thing, girl. Toxic Fridays. Radio host. Oh, 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 oh. Dance it out. Give him an outro. <laughs> oh, right here, right. Hey guys, thanks for checking out Weekly Jesse Lee. If you love this vlog and if you want more and if you want to see more about my day in the life and what it really takes to have a successful business or multiple successful businesses, please make sure you subscribe, share with a friend, comment below, and just let me know so I can give you what you want.